At the peak of the pandemic, more than 190 countries closed the doors of their schools to 94% of learners worldwide, creating the largest mass disruption of education in history. Many governments reacted with an overnight shift to online learning. But the reality is that globally, two in three children and young people do not have access to the internet at home. Those children were disproportionately impacted by the global shutdowns as they were unable to continue their education. And those lucky enough to have connectivity at home had to adjust to new ways of learning, socialising and in many cases to an increased exposure to online risks and potential harms. Safe digital access of all children to the online environment must be a top national priority. For many years, child online protection has been at the top of ITU's agenda. ITU's Child Online Protection Guidelines provide a comprehensive set of recommendations on how to contribute to the development of a safe and empowering online environment for children and young people. To protect children online, we need data, new technologies, harmonised frameworks, international cooperation and increased investment. We also need global awareness, and more importantly, we need to listen to children and young people. They must be part of the solution. What is your country doing to protect children and young people online at school and at home? What is your sector doing for a safer and child-friendlier internet? What is the global community doing to endorse and implement the COP guidelines? And what can you do to ensure safe learning never stops.